If you've ever looked at the far left corner of the address bar in your browser, you've probably noticed the letters HTTP and wondered briefly what that meant. Well, it stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and it's the secret language of our websites, a set of universal rules that every computer uses to talk to servers at Facebook, Google, and probably every website you've ever been to. The problem is, HTTP is old. It was first implemented in 1999 and is considered a bottleneck for websites that keep getting bigger and bigger. The big story here is we have a lot more going on when you're loading a web page. So for the first time in 16 years, those rules are changing in a way that, hopefully, will make the World Wide Web faster than ever before. These rules are written by the Internet Engineering Task Force, a private and worldwide nonprofit organization that creates and manages the tools that let information run across the Internet. And after years of work, the IETF has finally crafted a new protocol, which they're calling HTTP2. So, no points for creativity on that new name, but HTTP2 will have all the fancy new tools, like header compression and multiplexing. Basically, everyday web users can expect browsers to load our web pages faster. But project leader Mark Nottingham says, hold on, HTTP2 isn't magic web performance pixie dust. You can't drop it in and expect your page load times to decrease by 50%. It will also take time to work its way across the internet, meaning you won't notice a change in speed overnight. One venture beat writer put it like this, This story is coming too soon. HTTP2 is for sure going to add to the increase in rate of change for things on the internet, but it'll do it without being noticed. Also largely unnoticed for the new protocol will be security benefits. Chrome and Firefox have announced that HTTP2 will be accompanied by security upgrades, meaning that our new internet won't just be faster, it'll be a little safer too. For Newsy, I'm Jay Struberg.